Hi, this is Nick with DCM Bio. Today we're going to be going over building a wash protocol on your Biotech ELX405 Select Plate Washer. If you'd feel uncomfortable performing any of these steps on your own, feel free to send us an email at service at dcmbio.com. We'll be happy to help you. create a wash protocol, first open the Define menu, and here select Create. Once you're at this menu, you can select which specific aspects you want to create. In this case, we're going to be making a wash protocol, so we'll select the Wash option. You'll need to name it, which in our case is going to be DCM, adjusting additional letters that are not on the keypad by using the Options button. Press Enter to move. Select your plate type. In our case, we'll be using a 96 well plate. From here, we can see three different options, method, dispense, and aspirate. Starting with the method option, we'll define how many cycles we want in our wash, in this case, three. And they can be anywhere from one to 10. Next, you're prompted with a soak or shake. In our case, we're gonna add both a soak and a shake, so we'll select yes. For soak duration, We'll leave this at 30 seconds, but it can be anything from 0 to 600 seconds. Shake before soak will cause the carrier to shake and help loosen up anything built up in the plate. We'll select yes again, set our shake duration, in this case 10 seconds, simply by entering on the keypad, pressing enter to confirm, just like the other steps. Our shake intensity is self-explanatory. How intense of a shake do we want? I recommend keeping it in the middle, the default at three, um, as higher volumes and intensities have the potential for spillage. Priming after a soak is useful for if you want to make sure that you've got plenty of fluid within the pumps and the manifold itself. So we'll select yes, and we'll add, say, a 50 milliliter prime. You'll also be prompted with a prime flow rate, and this can be left at the default value. Next, we'll define our dispense step. Selecting the button under Dispense, we can select our volume for our 96 well plate. In this case, we'll use 300. Dispense rate options will vary by washer model. CW options will be denoted by a CW immediately below the numbers. In our case, we'll wash at seven flow rate. And here, using information gleaned from the adjust utility in our previous video, you can set your specific dispense height, X, and Y position if you have a select or 406 model washer. Here we can see that we have a millimeter value for our dispense height. This is taken roughly from the bottom of the plate carrier. It'll vary based on skirt heights and different plates, so if you have the technical drawings you can get pretty precise with your locations. We can adjust the horizontal position here, and we'll leave ours at zero, zero. Disable aspirate option is useful for if you're running a bead assay or any situation where you don't want the aspiration to run while you're dispensing. Since the aspirate tube sits so close to the dispense tubes, this can be an issue with some options. In our case, we're not concerned with that, so we'll leave the Disable Aspirate off. Bottom Wash First adds an extra aspirate and dispense to the beginning of your cycles. In our case, we're not going to be utilizing this, so we'll press No. Prime Before Start is a great way to make sure that your washer is primed and ready to go before running a wash protocol. We'll tell it to run 100 milliliters of water through the system before we wash. Our prime flow rate will actually turn up to 9, though admittedly these values don't matter too much as we'll be priming into the trough anyway. Next we can fully define our aspirate steps. Pressing the aspirate button, we're prompted with our aspirate height. This is where you'll decide how much volume you want to leave in your plates. Again, you'll need technical drawings or to use the adjust utility to truly fine tune this. But in our case, we're actually going to lower our aspirate height. 
down to the 20 step set point or 2.54 millimeters. Here we can adjust our aspirate horizontal as well as our Y positions since we have a select model. We'll define it as 0.457 millimeters in the positive direction in X and we'll set 0.5 for our steps in the positive Y position for the carrier. Our aspirate rate is how quickly we're going to be aspirating fluid out of the wells. In this case, we'll leave it at three. We'll just use a general wash, no cell wash, no concerns there. These options range from one to 10. Aspirate delay is useful if you wanna build up a good vacuum pressure prior to or allow a pseudo soak before aspirating. We won't use that in our protocol. A crosswise aspirate will allow you to aspirate at a second location in your wells. In our situation, we adjusted to the positive X and Y. So for our crosswise that we are going to utilize, we'll go to the zero position. Our crosswise is only going to be on the final aspirate. You can also select the option to do every aspirate. This will depend on how many cycles are in your wash protocol. We'll leave our height at a higher value of 24 steps or 3.048 millimeters and we'll use our 0, 0, X, and Y position for the carrier. Final aspirate asks if you would like to end your protocol with an aspiration. If you want to leave a, each well full of whatever dispense volume you specified, you can select no. If you're trying to clean out your plates, you can select yes. The final aspirate delay is a simple delay before the final step. We won't use this in our protocol. Once you're finished, press the main menu button and press yes to save your protocol. To run your newly created protocol, select the run option. The wash, in our case, is the protocol type that we just created. And scroll through to find the name of the protocol. Once you hit start and answer a few quick prompt questions, you're ready to run. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. To see additional how-to lab automation videos and to check out our service options, visit dcmbio.com. If you have more in-depth questions or need to contact us about servicing your equipment, send an email to service at dcmbio.com. You can find links to our LinkedIn, email, and website below in the description.